The latest Power BI update made it dramatically easier to highlight data in your visuals without needing multiple measures or complicated formatting tricks. What used to take three measures, several formatting steps and a bit of patience can now be done in under a minute with just one measure. No kidding. Whether you're trying to spotlight performance against targets in a column chart or bring your scatter plots to life, this update changes the game. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how, with practical examples that will boost your visuals and your productivity. But before we begin, a big thank you for my channel members who get early access to video like this one. Your support means the world to me and it helps me create better content for you. Let's begin with a quick demo that might blow your mind before we circle back to the column chart. In my last video, I showed you how to build an animated scatter plot to visualize trends over time using average line for both orders and sales. Now what if we could make that visual instantly better by highlighting the areas that perform better than the average? Here's how to do it. Select your visual, go to the reference line in the format pane, choose the average for all this, turn on the shade area, set the color to green, and the transparency to 80%. Then, change the position from before to after to highlight when the performance is above average. And finally, let's repeat the steps for the sales average line using a 90% transparency to get a better color blend. And just like that, you've made it easier to spot high performance area in your scatter plot. And speaking of high performance, what if we highlight the moments when both orders and sales beat the expectation, not just one or the other. This is what we're diving into next. Highlighting individual metrics is useful, but highlighting where they intersect in outperforming zones, this is next level. Here's how to highlight only the sweet spots when both the sales and the orders are performing better than the average. First, turn off the shade for the sales average line. That removes the bottom shading. To hide the left area, add another sales average line, match its formatting, color, width, and transparency. Then set the shade to white or match your background with 0% transparency and position it behind the data. Now, because that new line also covers part of the orders average area line, we need to bring that back by adding a new average line for orders. Rename your lines to keep things clear, average sales and average orders. Order matters here, so be sure to stack the lines in the correct order. Now, only the overlapping area is highlighted when both sales and orders performed better than the average. Let's have a look. Pretty cool, right? But wait until you see how easy this becomes for the column chart with just one measure and a couple of clicks. No extra decks required. Let's bring this concept to the column chart. Traditionally, if you wanted to highlight values above target, you needed at least three measures and a bunch of formatting. But now, now it's so much easier. Add a constant line and set its value to your target measure. Format it, change the color, decrease the line width and send it behind the columns. Enable the shade area, set it to after, pick your color and set the transparency to 80%. Boom, you're done. Just one measure and your chart is now instantly more insightful. It also keeps your model lighter and faster. But what if you want to take it even further? Imagine breaking your chart into three performance zones. Low, medium and high. And each one with its own color. That's up next. Creating multi-zone highlights, it's easier than you think. Here's how to set up three distinct performance bands in your column chart. Add a minimum line, format it, turn on the shade, set the color to red and transparency to 90%. Add another minimum line, rename it to line zero, so it layers above the first one. Set the color to yellow, transparency to 100, then turn on the shade, match the line color, 
30 to after and transparency to 80%. Finally, add a constant line with your target measure. Format the line and shade just like before. Don't forget to send all the lines behind like I just did. Revisit your target line and tweak the shade transparency if needed. For example, let's go back to 80%. You now have a multi-zone chart that clearly communicates different levels of performance. Perfect for dashboards where instant clarity matters. And if you think that was clever, wait until you see how you can add a gradient shade to a line chart without writing a single measure or using complicated SVGs. If you're ready to take your visuals to the next level by using gradient shade in the line chart, then watch this video right here. It's a step-by-step -step guide and super beginner friendly. This is Telian signing off. Until next time, you know the drill. Like, subscribe. See you next time. Cheerio.